the lake that I was talking about, Lake Atitlan, um, I, I mentioned that there were 12 cities around it and um, part of the, the history or the proposed history is that the 12 cities represent the 12 tribes of Israel and the, the, the lake is considered the waters of Mormon. That is the, the proposed history by many people in Guatemala. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a very beautiful place. And I, I personally do not doubt it, um, you know, um, but it's a, um, there's also another place um, in, uh, it's called Antigua. It used to be the old capital of, of Guatemala. And there is another place there that's surrounded um, by, um, it, you know, it's a, it's a very secluded lake where, um, you know, just as it describes in the, in the, uh, um, in the scriptures where Alma was baptizing. Um, and that is also considered a, some other people, you know, claim that to be the waters of Mormon. And, you know, I don't know if that's really the LDS population trying to, you know, kind of find some roots or, or, or if it's true, you know, I, I, I personally feel that it, 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 it definitely is, um, representative of, of the lands, of, land of the Lamanites or, or is in fact the land of the Lamanites. Um, and which is, which is really cool. And I was able to really feel that as, as you teach, as you teach people, um, you feel, um, you know, it, I think the scripture that the seventies would always quote to us at, at zone conference was that the, that the Lamanites will flourish like a rose. And, um, you definitely see that happening in Guatemala. And I mean, they just built an, a second temple in Guatemala, which is only a couple hours from the first and which is, which is, um, which is, um, emblematic of, of, of the population growth of, of the LDS population. And, um, yes, as far as other, um, other history, um, I guess, I guess, yeah. So, so Tecpan, which is a, which is a, um, city in, in the mountains, actually in the Guatemala city central mission was the original capital. Then it got moved to Antigua which was the capital for a very, very long time. And which was the capital essentially created by the Spaniards. And, um, that's like a very large Catholic population in Antigua. And, um, and then the capital eventually moved to Guatemala city. And, um, so as far as book of book of Mormon references there, um, so, so Guatemala city, it's in a huge Valley, which is, um, depicted, in the Book of Mormon and is proposed to be the city of Nephi and um, just north in, in, in Tikal, which is the, which is the mine ruin, they have a huge temple, which is proposed. Uh, he keeps saying proposed cause you know, we, we don't want to speculate too much, but um, it's proposed to be the city of Zarahemla. And um, so, I mean, you definitely feel that it is, it is a source of, of the, um, of the uh of the book of mormon lands and you can feel that as you teach people and um and and even just walk where they have walked um and it's it's it's, it's extremely exciting to um be part of the uh the um the prophecies that you know the doctrine and covenants and even the and the book of mormon have it's 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 a it's a great privilege to be part of that so